Welcome to Comp with Francisco. Today we're going to be exploring how the hell do we solve our TN expressions. Oh man, every time I get O F N squared, O of N squared, what's wrong with me? So first and foremost, what's the first step? The first step is to write your TN expression. And then we're going to come up with three different expressions by substituting different values of N. We're going to substitute into our initial expression to start to see, to see the pattern emerge. So we're going to generalize whatever pattern we find here using the value of k. Right? Thereafter, we're going to look at our termination condition. Let's start with the first problem. So the first step was to write our TN expression. Right? The next step, we're going to come up with three different expressions by substituting. So in our original expression, we see that we have t of n minus 1. Right? We're going to substitute minus 1 in this formula to see what we get t of n minus 1. So replace n over here with n minus 1. You're going to find that we have n minus 2 plus 3c. Now you'll see that we have t of n over 2 here. Right? What's t of n minus 2? t of n minus 3 plus 3c. Right? And then the final one that we're going to look at. What's t of n minus 3? What's the next step? We're going to substitute these different combinations in our original expression. So, in our original expression, we're going to first substitute t of n minus 1. It's t of n minus 2 plus 3c plus 3c. Right? And if you simplify this, we have t of n minus 2 plus 6c. Then we're going to do our second substitution. We're going to substitute the value of t of n minus 2 over here and see what we get. Right? So I'm going to call this a, b, c. What's our substitution? The t of n minus 3 plus 3c. Right? Plus 6c. Right? Well, what happens if we simplify this? Let's do our last substitution. So we'll substitute the value of t of n minus 3 over here, what do we find? Look brackets again, t of n minus 4 plus 3c plus 9c, and then we simplify. What? It's going to be 12. The next step is we want to find a pattern. What was happening while we were substituting the value that we found over here? So we can generalize and see that this was our initial expression, right? This was our second expression after we substituted the first value, right? So initially we had this. After we substitute A, we have this. After we substitute B, we have this, right? After we substitute C, we have what? This expression over here. Make sure you follow. Now we we'll ask ourselves, for the value of k, what does our tn expression look like? So this is what I mean by generalize. Look at these numbers over here. What happens for the value of k? We have t of n minus k plus k times 3 t. Right? Make sure you follow along. Here it was 1. So k was 1. Picture, imagine k has the value of 1. Then our expression is t of n minus 1 plus 3c. Right? Then k was 2. Our expression was t of n minus 2 plus 6c, which is the same thing as 3 times 2c. Right? And then you follow. After this, we're going to look at what happens at termination. For this, we're going to have to look at the problem again. So the termination condition for this one was if n is equal to 0, return 1. The termination condition means at what point do we stop calling our function recursively. We have if n is equal to 0, return 1. And if that's not the case, we're going to return n times factorial n minus 1. So this is the point at which we stop calling our function recursively, meaning that's our termination condition. So we have t of 0 is equal to 1. 
And to make this easier for ourselves, we can say that this is approximately the same thing as t of 1 is equal to 1. I'll cover this later on. We need to find out what's the value of k. That statement eventually will also terminate, meaning this will also be equal to 1. Right? And since we see that whatever the, in whatever the input that we put in here for both functions, they gave us a result of 1, meaning that they need to be equal. Right? So what do we have here? n minus k is equal to 0. That's our value of k. So what's our value of k? n is equal to k. Right? This is the value this is the value that we found, right? And we said the time it takes for this to compute is just one unit. So we can simplify this to say at termination, right, the time is the, the time it takes for t of n or for t to compute is just one unit. Right? And this is the same thing as well. The time it takes for t of n minus k to compute at termination is one unit, right? That's how we arrived at this expression. So we're going to substitute the value of k back there, right? Back in this formula, and then see what our expression reads. In this case, we have t of n minus n plus n times 3 times c. Right? And then this is the same thing as t of 0 plus n times 3 times c. Right? t of 0 we said that's equals to 1 based on our termination condition plus 3 and c. Right? And when analyzing on some complexity, complexity we're ignoring the constants and multiplicative constants. Right? And remember, c is also a constant as well. We're left with n. t of n is equal to n, meaning we have big O of n for this particular problem. Right? Now, this approach works for all the TN expression problems. The TN expression is written as follows. The thing that I like to do is I like to write the termination condition on the side. So termination. Let's let's read the the code to find out the termination condition. So the code says if n is equal to zero, return one. We have t of zero is equal to one. Now we need to come up with three different expressions by substituting different values of n. So we're gonna find out what do we get by substituting n over 2 right there? What's t of n over 2? You'll find that it's equal to 4t n over 2 squared plus let's write 18. Let's, let's proceed. What happens when we substitute the value of n over 2 squared in our initial formula? What happens when we substitute n over 2 to the third power in our initial formula right. and then we can call this a b c and then number two is going to be after we substitute a And we can simplify this as what? Let's first simplify this as 2 squared times 2 squared. Right? Let's simplify this. What's 2 to the, to the second power times 2 to the second power? 2 to the fourth power. And this was t. t of n over 2 squared plus. 2 to the 2nd power times 2 to the 3rd power is 2 to the 5th power, 5th power, c, plus 
two to the third power C. Two to the third power B. And then we substitute the second value over here. Let's simplify this. What do we have? We have 2 to the 6th power, t of n over 2 to the power 3, plus 2 to the 4th power, 4 plus 3, 2 to the power 7, c, plus 2 to the power 5, plus 2 to the power 3, c. So this was the initial first substitution, then our second substitution. It's getting really, really untidy here, so let's try to analyze what's happening here. Right? We have 2 to the power of what? 2 to the power of 6t n over 2 to the third power plus we're gonna have to actually add all this up 168t so Now we're trying to generalize So for the kth substitution, what's our t and expression? When k was 3, all of a sudden we have this expression So we can generalize and say this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 k t of n over 2 to the power of k right plus 168c right because we're trying to generalize this and this is going to be a constant it's going to grow even bigger and bigger and bigger now we're interested in finding whatever the value of k is we're going to look at our termination condition we have t of 0 is equal to 1. Now remember our explanation here. Remember we're going to apply the same thing. This is similar to saying t of 1 is equal to 1 as well. Approximately, not exactly, but approximately. Right? This means that whatever this function is, at termination it's going to only take one unit of time to compute. So we have n over 2 to the power of k is equal to 1. Then we look at the value of k, cross multiply with n is equal to 2 to the power of k. Right? We take log of both sides. And then we take the k in front using our logos. Then we divide both sides by log 2. We find that the value of k is equal to log 2 n. Right. So we're gonna substitute this back in our initial expression where we generalized for k. So what does that look like? t of n is equal to 2 to the power of 2 log 2 n. Right. t of what? Since we know that at termination this is going to be equals to t of 1, which is going to be equals to 1. We can simply write t of 1 plus 168c, whatever that constant is. Right? Now let's try to simplify this. We have 2 to the power of 2 log of 2n plus 168c. Let's figure out this shenanigan. How do we solve this shenanigan over here? 2 to the power of 2 log 2n is the same thing as 2 to the power of log 2 and times 2 log 2 n right and remember exponent rules this is similar to saying n times n right meaning we have n squared right so this is the value that we found by simplifying this. So we're going to substitute this value back in here. We have n squared plus 168c. So we're ignoring all constants. We're left with n squared. Meaning this problem will give us a time complexity of big of o, big o of n squared. Right. So this is the whole entire process. If you found value in this, be sure to click the like button 
and subscribe and share this with your fellow computer science students and tell them hey you found something special that's helping you with data structures <laughs> all right that's it for me hope you find value in this subscribe share and listen to to my kiss <laughs> okay fudge <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.